what is up you guys welcome back to another video um, today I am headed to meet up with a seller that I found on marketplace uh, he had a posting for some VHS tapes uh, he says he has four boxes of unsorted VHS tapes I uh, asked him if he would take 30 for all of it he says he has four boxes um, his posting really just had one picture and from that one picture there was uh, two titles on the top of the pile that I was interested in um, they're kind of uh, more uncommon titles it's essentially a mystery box I'm, I'm going up there now to meet up with him he has four boxes of VHS tapes all I know are the titles on top but just looking through the pile it kind of looks like a lot of 80s movies which is um, what I want to add to my collection is more more 80s titles hopefully there's some good titles in there um, I'm gonna go pick it up now uh, I don't know if I'll be able to film there probably not I don't know if they'll be comfortable with that but if not uh, we'll open it up together once we get back to the garage at home we'll open it up together and we'll see what we got all right I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic right now um, so yeah I'll check in with you guys later so here are the tapes guys there's a bunch of them So I'm gonna take these home and then we'll go through them. So apparently this uh, used to be a liquor store. They're closing up now. Um, but before it was a liquor store, it was a video store. And the owner found these tapes in the back room when they um, took over the place. So that's the story behind all these tapes. We'll go through them when I get home. Oh my God, you guys. So his posting originally said four boxes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of VHS. This is the place. Apparently, this used to be a video, a video store. He found these in the back room when they took over the place. Um, they owned the liquor store here, but it was a video store before that. And that's why all these tapes were in the back room. Oh my God, you guys, I'm excited to dig in because it looks like a lot of these are like 80s titles. Let's get home and sort through these. All right, you guys, we are home now. Um, I organized the tapes a little bit. Um, I went through them already and I kind of sorted some of them out. Um, there's some right there. So we got six total boxes. I didn't count them, but I mean, it's probably about how many tapes. So it's probably about 30 tapes, 30, 30, 30, 90. That's, um, 120. And then there's more here. So we have well over, we have well over probably 150, almost 200 tapes here. Um, 200 more or less, probably. Um, I didn't count exactly how many, but wow. This haul right here is worth the $30. You guys remember when we were on the way there, I was thinking, you know, just from the two titles on the top of the picture, in the picture, um, I was willing to pay the 30 bucks. Uh, I didn't know exactly what was in these boxes. Um, he said, also he said he had four boxes. And when I got there, he ended up having six boxes. And he still gave it to me for $30 uh, with the two extra boxes. So definitely happy with this purchase. The majority of these tapes are, are 80s films 80s movies um probably like a selected few 90s if any uh, but not that many and um let's just go through some of them i mean it's gonna take me forever to go through all of them but i'll just pull out some random ones i don't have uh any knowledge on um the i think these are mexican tapes mexican films it says yeah, it, it it says Mexico, Mex. Yeah, it says Mexi National Watch Headquarters. So I'm. These are these are Mexican films, I believe. Um, and they are in Spanish. So there's a few of them. So I'll just go through them. I don't, I don't know if you guys see any of these and recognize any of them for my um, Mexican peeps. If any of these are worth anything. Let me know, but I have a few. 
I'll just go through them. That one right there. Boxing one. Uh, oh, I don't know how this got there, but this is there. Here's another one called En Concierto Emmanuel. And then this one's called, I don't know if that's focus, Un Dia El Diablo. So those are some of the um, the Spanish films or Mexican films from this lot. So I segregated those already. Like I said, uh, most of these are 80s. And um, mostly all of them. Actually, I think I only saw about two tapes that I already have in my collection. The rest I don't have in my collection. So these are all... Great 80s titles that I don't have yet, so I'm very happy with that because you guys know how it is when you go to the thrift stores or, or the garage sales, you usually get a lot of the common stuff. Um, these, I feel like, are not common. These are definitely not common for me, at least. Um, let's go through it now. We got this film right here. I actually tried to look some of these up. I didn't see any comps for this, Tomorrow's Child, but it is a key video. Oh, also... Um, the great thing about this lot, all the tapes are still shrink wrapped. I mean, they're not sealed. They're not sealed, but they all still have some sort of shrink wrap and then they're open on the bottom and then it's just taped up. So the, so the tape doesn't fall out, but mostly all of them, I believe it's 80, 90% of them are shrink wrapped. And just open on on the bottom so the tape can get out. All of them. I mean, if I don't know if you guys can tell, but all of these, they are all still. Well, except for the, of course, these these uh, shell case ones. Um, but all of these these carded ones are. They are all in shrink wrap, just like this. Um. And then just opened on the bottom and then it's got a tape on it so the tape doesn't fall out. But I think that's what preserved um, the artwork. I like the box of these tapes because they are in great condition. Like if we pull this one out right here, this is a night shift. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got the shrink wrap still on there. And then the bottom is just, like I said, taped up. So... All of these tapes are in pretty minty condition um, because of that shrink wrap. I didn't expect that this lot was going to be from, you know, stock of uh, an old video store, which I think is pretty cool. Like, we've got some cool tapes and we also got a pretty cool story out of it. He found them and never really touched them for over 20 years. Um, and then now that they're closing up, he decided he was just going to sell them off because obviously they're either going to go to the dump or he can try to sell them off. And I was lucky enough to catch it on Marketplace. Um, but yeah, let's go through these tapes. Let me show you guys some of the titles that we got. We got Blame It on Rio. A lot of these I, I, have, I don't know of. So Night Shift I've heard of. Um, Blue City. All in the shrink wrap. Got this movie, Beer. This one is a good one right here. Fist of Steel. I saw comps of this. I think this one is like 60 bucks online, if I remember correctly. But I, I did start looking some of these up. Um, a lot of these will stay in my collection. I'll, I'll watch them and then just get rid of the ones that I don't like. Um, stand alone. Uh, angel eyes right here. This one also, um, I don't know if, if it has any value, but some of the prices I saw on eBay really surprised me about this one. Rap Master Ronnie, a report card. Um... We've got a ton of tapes. We've got a bunch of, um, like I said, look, look, this one is called El, El Trono de, del Infierno. And it's a yellow tape. It's one of the um, the Mexican ones. 
And then we've got a bunch of um, these big box ones. Here's a story of Adele H. Um, I mean, a ton of big box ones. Here's Death Wish. Big box Death Wish. Canon Films. 10 to Midnight. Big box. Telephone. Manhattan. Over the Brooklyn Bridge. The Tin Drum. Deliverance. Sakharov. Like I said, a lot of these movies I don't know about. Um, never heard of Desperate Moves. I think this one, I saw this one online. It's selling for a good amount. <laughs> this looks like, um, they just put Rocky, t they just wrote Rocky 2 and then printed out some sort of a, a summary. Flashpoint. Some more right there. Are. Women in Fury. Oh, this would have been a good one had it has the the um the case for it. Here's a Prince movie under the Cherry Moon. I don't think that's the original case though. I got some other. Just a bunch of. Up your anchor, betrayal, prime cut, Cinderella Liberty, some Chuck Norris here, see <laughs> in action. Some of the titles right there. Spring Break, I've been wanting this one. Got Spring Break in there. This one right here, I think is kind of rare. Um, this one is called Street Hits. I didn't see many comps for this one. Here's the Super Grass. Alphabet City. Assassination Game. Hurricane Smith. Our bodies. Band of the hand. Moon over Parador. Hail Mary. Little Vegas Underground Aces Mega Syndrome Man, woman, and child. Significance. Here. 
if you guys see any titles, like I said, a lot of these titles are totally new to me. So if you see a title here that you know something about or that you've watched and you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll put it on my watch list. Definitely a lot of um, Vestron, Canon, and RCA titles here. Here's the RCA one, Hanky Panky. Uh, Sweet Revenge. There's another Bronson movie, Death Wish 4. Canon release. moves uh, just tell me what you want okay so i'm trying to work my way around here we got through some of these three boxes here some more titles here um without a trace burning rage Summer Fox Trap American Dreamer It's the fifth box. There's a restaurant video in Anna. The clan of the cave bear. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite box. It seems like most of these are horror. Murder by decree. I guess it's not all horror. Savage Streets. This is a good one right here. I think this one's like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. Savage Streets. Don't answer the phone. Psychic. Certain Fury. Amityville 2, The Possession. Sunset Grill, The Visitor, Missy Home Entertainment, Psycho 3, Freddy's Dead, Tape Heads, this is the um, 1989 release. This one has different pricing um, on the comps that I saw. But some of the comps I saw, this one is selling for a good amount online. Mephisto. This one is a, looks like they lost the case and put it in a shell case but this is friday the 13th part three original tape but no case the silent partner the unholy 
deadly possession. Big Dollhouse, Embassy Home Entertainment. Blood Link. Crawl Space. Defense of the Realm. The Babysitter. Mortuary. Oh man, look at that. Brain waves. Home sweet home. That's an awesome cover. The Brood. I have the Brood already, but with no slip case. And this one obviously is in way better condition than the one I have. Phantom of the Opera. The motion picture. The official story. The ninth configuration. Rolling Vengeance. Cassandra. Hatch it for a honeymoon. Wow, look at that cover. And last but not least, Psycho 2. Looks like they made their own little case because they probably lost the slip case. But, wow, you guys, like, all these tapes, I definitely got my $30 worth. I definitely have way more than $30 worth of tapes here. So I'm very happy that I decided to make the drive in the rain to go and get these tapes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Super, super great haul for me because I've got, I've got a ton of tapes. Like I don't even know, I don't even know where I'm gonna put these, uh, but I gotta make space. I've got so many tapes. But a good majority of them are like 90s and like just more common 80s titles. Um, I feel like a lot of these are not common because on my hunts, I've never seen a good majority of these out in like thrift stores or, or wherever I go to hunt. Um, the big box cases, I don't see those often. Um, and just the titles alone, a bunch of 80s titles that I don't know about. So I feel like these are uncommon for me, I don't know if it's the same for you, but um, definitely worth it. Um, definitely happy with this. I can't believe that all these tapes have just been sitting in the back room of a liquor store for probably almost 30 years, more than 20 years at least. Um, crazy.